Hello everybody, it's a City Mad Haven here today. Have you guys ever had a moment where you just stopped and you just stopped doing everything? And you're just like, there's something I want to do and I want to do it now. Have you ever had that? Because for me, it just happened. And I want to play the Super Pershing. I have not played my Super Pershing in a very long time. So, this is going to be technically a review, a little bit of gameplay, a couple other things. I put my desk and now I've got the mouse on there. Mouse is gone. Oh no, too many things gone. Alrighty, so Super Pershing. Let's take a look at the armor here. <laughs> okay, so 139, 114, 101, 88 millimeters of spaced armor. More spaced armor on the side of the 86. Well, may maybe not spaced armor. It looks like regular armor. 76 in the sides, all the way across, 50 millimeters in the back, not going to be able to ricochet anything above, 150, 38 millimeters of spaced armor in the front, 35 millimeter gun, 25 millimeters of underbelly armor, which means high explosives are going to hurt, and 20 millimeter tracks, you know what? Yeah, and then plus that, let's take a look at the ammo rack location, heavily defended by all the spaced armor in the front. Ooh. All right, so there's going to be a commander that we're going to take. And this commander has been sitting on the same tank for a really long time. And I feel like we need to tear it apart. Wait a minute. Did I move them? I think I moved them. I think I did move them. No? Yes? Did I move them? I need to take a look. Let's find out if we did. If we did, we're just going to go ahead and move them to a separate tank. And then uh, be on our way. Medium. Yeah, we did move them. Okay, that's nice to know. Okay, so back to tier 8. We're going to go American. We're going to go medium. And let's go find this commander. The object 260. Uh, yeah, you're not on this tank anymore. You're going to the T26E4 Super Pershing. Now, we're also going to do a respec. Okay, Super Pershing, let's, uh, wow, they reached, they changed this, oh, I actually kind of like this. Okay, so Rapid Loading, Born Leader, along with that, we're going to do Rapid Aim for Gun Rotation. I don't think we're going to worry too much about, um, rotational speed and, well, not rotational, but accuracy on the move and everything else. So let's go off-road driving, clutch braking, um, let's come over here, controlled impact as well. We're also going to want to bolster that view range. Six cents all the way. We've got one more perk slot left, and that's always track mechanic. So we do not have any concealment, nothing on this tank. Not just that, we literally have nothing on this tank. <laughs> we have no equipment. So let's let's put on advanced optics. Let, let's get that advanced loader, improve ventilation. And with consumables being half off right now, this is just glorious. So I don't know when they buffed the Super Pershing, but I don't remember 192 ever being the standard pin on this. I remember being at like 176, 173. They did something. They, they did something. I have no clue when they did it, but they did it. And oh boy. Oh, never mind. Wrong tank. This is the 173. Okay, so Super Pershing might have always had that. All right. So before we do jump into this, let's go ahead and bring you guys over to the website. There we go. So the cost of the tank is 7,200 gold. Along with that, 157% silver earn rate. 192, 258, and then 45 millimeters of pin. 240 standard damage, 1,500 hit points, still concealment, 0.23, extremely decent, still concealment, view range at 390, this thing does have a super advantage on that view range, along with the top speed of 40, however, that top speed, let's take a look at the power to weight, 10, oh, that's disgusting, 10, that's going to be slow, so 40.2, 18 reverse speed, that's going to be really nice, 54 rounds, 2.3 aiming time, reload, 8.2 seconds. Ooh, that's disgusting. All right, terrain resistance, that's soft terrain, though. 2.7, all right. Uh, track first speed, 32 degrees, signal range, 745, fire chance. Oh, 
Ow. Gun depression, 10 degrees. Elevation, 20 degrees. Accuracy, 0.38. We're going to be able to work at that 0.38 because we're not going to be shooting long range. We're going to try and get in close. 10 degrees of gun depression really going to allow us to work ridgeline, corners, basically extremely versatile. So, yeah. You know, there's almost no down flaws to this tank. It's also got preferential matchmaking, too. So let's bring y'all back here. And... Yeah, Super Pershing. It's been a fat minute since I pulled this baby out. And I'm just in the mood to play it. I want to go. I want to see what I can do. Super Pershing! Alrighty, match number one, Fisherman's Bay. You know what? I haven't seen Fisherman's Bay too much, like, in the past two weeks. But the past two days... I feel like every single time I log on, I'm on Fisherman's Bay, Prokhorovka, or Mines. I don't know what's going on right now. But it, it just feels like that. All right, so we're top tier right now. We are top tier. This. This is going to be fun. I'm going to go city. I'm not even going to slack off. Going straight city. Did they zoom in the maps? Or they? There's a couple of things that they did. A little couple of small things that they did that I find to be absolutely awesome right now um, on the mini map right now I don't know if that's the effective view range but beforehand if you would aim all the way up it would just take up the entire map like that little uh, spread the little black line out in front of you it would just cover the entire map so um, yeah I'm gonna find out if that's the effective view range now I'm gonna have to take out the IS3 auto or the Fatherland without coated optics and see if we're not covering our camouflage. Which is the safety net going all around the tank. Huntsman, alrighty. Ragnarok. Okay, lots of fun stuff going on right now. Plus, I, I mean, with 10 powered away, I still feel like this thing is hauling some booty. We uh, gotta reload down the 6 seconds. And there is an IS-5. Ooh, no. Shots from right. Uh-oh. little scared. Yeah, usually pushing out this far and not paying too much attention will end badly. But let's see if we can, uh, see if we can make this work. All right, shot number one. Space armor for the win. Space armor for the win. Oh, no. Space armor not helping anymore. We have an autoloader behind us. Oh, so many of mills. Wow, I just got auto-loaded to death. But I can officially say the space armor in the front really helped out. Well, uh, mistakes were made. And as I said, I pushed up a little bit too far. So, yeah, we're going to go back to the garage. And match number two, Melanovka. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully this one goes better. Hopefully we don't get uh, clipped out by <laughs> three autolers, two of mills, and uh, no, there was an IS-5 off to our right. That's what it was. Okay, so, oh, we're top tier again. So rather than uh, rushing in like we did last match without even paying attention, uh, I'm trying to get used to recording live. Has I, I am struggling recording live gameplay. I just, my gameplay, I feel like whenever I'm recording live, I'm just more focused on monologuing than I am the actual gameplay. So we'll, we'll take it a little bit slower this match. We'll see what we can do. So two artilleries, 4043, SU-142. Oh, two King Tigers and a mill, Dragon, Senshi. Man, so much armor. So, it was, I, uh, if you guys watch Clone Guy, I, I, I do watch Clone Guy occasionally. And he was talking about the RB lock. So just auto locking onto a target and then firing. Nah, that's super helpful. Like auto locking on the people and then zooming in right away to be able to take a shot. Yeah. You know, auto lock to get the gun focused on. Because occasionally, you know, you'll be starting off here and you'll look over and all of a sudden you're looking up here. Quickly line up, tap RB once to let the gun automatically lock onto the target and then zoom in. It just super helpful. All the way, super helpful. Alrighty, so we got two Agels. We're not running any accuracy bonuses on the move. We're not running vertical stabilizers, nothing. So we might have to come to a stop. 
get that shot. 246. Getting shot from the distance. Let's get the cover. Lock that turret. All right, spaced armor doing its job. See if uh, we can bait a shot into our lower plate out here. Ooh, artillery. Nope. Gonna back off. We did get hit pretty hard. 350 on the dot. So that might have been the IS-3, maybe even the King Tiger with a decent high roll. Oh, wait. That was our team. What am I talking about? King Tiger or Dragon. Maybe even the Emil had a really good lucky high roll. But Dragon. He used the one spotted off in the distance there. And there we go. Nice good first shot. The gun doesn't hit the hardest, but with the reload rate, with six seconds in between every single shot, you're... You have decent DPM, 10 rounds a minute. At 240. So that's 2,400 damage per minute. That's not too bad. You know, it's going to take about 40 seconds to take down a tier 8, but you know what? You, you got armor. You got decent movement speed, nothing too crazy. 10 degrees of gun depression, super advantage right there. And. Let's lock on. There we go, 224. Back off a little bit, get right below this ridge. Only give him our turret. Alrighty, let's go ahead, flip around here, here. Hello, how are you, Nomad? Oh, you don't look too healthy. Ouch. And artillery's spotted. Both artilleries are spotted. And we can't see them. I kind of feel like they lowered the effective range that we're able to see people. It, it, it does feel like that right now. And it's been feeling like that for about a week. Because some people get spotted. And I'm sitting here like, I shouldn't I be able to see them right now? Or No. And if we can take out the light tank, which... But he did. Alright, the Nomad took out the uh, light tank. So that's going to be really nice to take away some of their eyes. AT-7 off in the distance. That looks like the rear. 232. Loading. Loading. Alright, let's focus on that Ragnarok. Okay, that was... That was a decent lead. But definitely not on the target. Alright, King Tiger done low. Ragnarok. Can we get it? Uh, I don't know if we can get it. No... I'm slacking off right now. Oh boy. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Not super worried about it. Okay, so. 11 to 7. This is a. So far, an okay match. Oh. I would love to be able to get a shot in that already. Alrighty, Ragnarok. Let's come around the corner and say hello to you. Okay, that shot went outside of our circle. <laughs> went so far outside that circle. Though the HMH M51 is still up and running, he is off to our right. Let's see if he can say hello to the spaced armor up in the front. He does want to come in for the ram. No. Alrighty, he planned that out pretty well. Just keep ourselves moving along. There we go. That was a decent match. That wasn't too bad. Feel like it could have been a lot better. But. It ended the way that it ended, taking third place. 
But you know what? Super Pershing. Occasionally, you just get in the mood to rip out something, and I got in the mood to play this. So you know what? Um, if I throw a stream up next, next time we might be just rocking out just a Super Pershing and a couple of other tanks. So until next time, I highly recommend if you guys don't have the Super Pershing though to get your hands on the Super Pershing. This thing is a beast of a tank, like just so good. It, not a lot of people think about it anymore. You don't see them too often inside the matchmaking. And because of that, it, some people who are newer to the game who just recently got their first tier 8 premium or they're up to tier 6, tier 7, and they see a Super Pershing, they don't know how to handle it. Just because it's it's not played a lot inside the regular queues. So, if you guys got the time to, you know, wipe the dust off your Super Pershing and pull it out for a little while, go nuts. Pull it out, have some fun, and until next time, you guys... Have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. If you know, if you're going to bed like I am, yeah, sleep well. But I'm impressed. I am. This relic sitting inside of my garage, and I just wanted to pull it out. And you know what? I had a blast pulling it out. So if you guys like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, leave some comments. I am totally down. They go nuts. I'm replying to you guys until next time take it easy i'm out